Hi, in today's video, we're going to cover the Nine of Wands tarot card. If you're new here and are interested in simple tips, tricks, and tools for reading tarot cards, hit that subscribe button right now and then let's get started. The Nine of Wands tarot card is the card for courage and persistence in the face of challenges. Traditionally, this card shows a man tightly gripping a wand, looking off to the side. He looks suspicious and paranoid and his head is wrapped in a bandage. Eight wands are stuck in the ground behind him, creating a fence or a barrier. When you're feeling defensive and hurt, the Nine of Wands reminds you that you can handle anything if you summon up your final reserves and stand for what you believe in. This card can be a warning to watch your back. Without being paranoid, create strong boundaries and defenses to protect the things you've built and love. You have learned many lessons recently. Be sure you actually implement what you've learned by changing your actions and, if necessary, your words, thoughts, choices, and beliefs. Change is difficult, but necessary. You are definitely strong enough to handle this challenge. Nine of Wands Tarot Card Readings for Love this is a lonely card. If it shows up in a love reading, take a step back. Get absolutely clear on the type of relationship you want to have and the type of person you want to be with. If you are looking for a new relationship, don't be discouraged by all of the fuckboys and spam bots you encounter, or girls. There is someone perfect for you, so don't become one of those embittered and hopeless lonely people who build their walls so high that they never find love. You must support your search with hope and determination. So take care of yourself as you look for someone new. Enjoy the process, but also protect your heart. Don't let yourself fall for the first person who shows up looking attractive or seems like a perfect match. Take your time, put yourself first. If you are struggling in your current relationship, make sure you aren't pushing each other's buttons on purpose. With courage, persistence, and maybe a little bit of therapy, you'll be able to come together again, even stronger than you were before. You're so close to the finish line. No matter what obstacles are in your way, you can do this. Don't give up now. Nine of Wands tarot card readings for money and finances. This is not a good card when looking to make investments or big financial risks. Instead, defend and protect what you have. Get good insurance and read your policies completely. Write an official will. Open all of your financial statements and ask questions until you completely understand what they say. Don't let fear, overwhelm, or your ego get in the way of asking questions until you feel comfortable and confident with your financial situation. If you are struggling financially, identify the habits and beliefs that are keeping you from earning, saving, and wisely using your money and your time. You have been learning these financial lessons through the School of Hard Knocks, and it's time to put those lessons into practice. Your financial situation will not change until you make changes in your habits and behavior. So making mistakes is how we all learn. It is your responsibility now to take those lessons and change your behavior so you never make the same mistakes again. So over the next few months, I'm going to be creating some more tarot videos focused on some weird and unusual ways to use your tarot cards. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to get those videos. But if this video was helpful, hit that like button for me right now and let me know down in the comments if you have any questions for me. All right, if you're ready to move on to the next card video, let's watch that video right now. <laughs> 